What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X Wand Through. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get our next badge, which is the Voltage Badge. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. I got five badges. Wow. I must, I must have been thinking of something else. But yes, we got five badges in all. And now, it is time to go to Route 14 because we got invited uh, by our good old buddies that, you know, they're going to meet up somewhere over there. And why is this lagging? Holy crap, yes. The gate has the number 14 carved on it. That way you know what route leads to. This is true. Very, very true. Okay, so what is going on here? So we're going to be moving on right now. Okay. Let's get this. We're going to be walking by. All smooth. The pimp walk and everything. Talk to this lady. Cafe sure are, sure are strange places, don't you think? The people visit it. Sitting in the ca cafe, watch the people who walk past. And the people who walk past, watch the people who are sitting in the cafe. That really didn't make any sense right there. Talk to this guy. To make Lumio City even more beautiful, all power allies have been laid underground. This is true. Very, very true. That's a... I guess I, I would say that's probably a... The safest way. I don't know. Any electricians wa still watching my walkers? Let me know. Hello, Sensei! Huh. Oh, it's the gang. You, you arrived very quickly! So here are the Power Rangers. Oh, hi, Sensei! We we were just compa uh, comparing how, our, how to complete our Pokédexes are. I won, of course. I'll leave filling up the Pokédex to you guys, Trevor. I don't like it when everyone does the same thing anyway. Sensei! Let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen, just like we always do. This time, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen on the Mountain Kalos decks. To put it in another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen eight kinds of Pokemon. I lost. How frustrating. <laughs> how many freaking... Oh, wow. I, I wasn't even trying with the Mountain Pokemon. Oh, so you've seen a Gibble too, Sensei. Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else makes sure makes me makes you happy. There are sure many different kinds of Pokemon in Kalos. Now it's my turn. Let's have a Pokemon battle, Draven. Okay. So here we go. Going up against our girlfriend, Serena. And she's coming out with her Meow Sick. Or Meow Stick. I don't even know how to say it. But yes. Let's go with Bonesaw right here. Again, our mission is to try and evolve Bonesaw to its fullest. And crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. <laughs> Yeah, we forgot to, uh, yeah, we forgot to heal our Pokemon, especially, uh, Bonesaw right here. He had a tough battle last episode. And, well, let's go, wow, I picked the wrong Pokemon, and now, yeah, well, I'm just gonna get faked out. So, huh, let's do this. Let's go right ahead and use a Poison Jab. Let's go ahead and wreck this Pokemon right now. Look at this. Poison Jab does a thing, and here comes, what is it? I do not know. A special defense. Luckily for us, we're not much of a very special attacker right here, so we're gonna go with a, I guess, a, a, a punch right here. Something punch. Alrighty, and crud. Fairy type attack. Nothing too good. So let's go again. We've increased our attack. Power of punch. Crap. I wish there was like a dragon punch in this game. Like somewhere along the line. Dragon punch. It would go perfectly with this Pokemon right here, so. Let's go again, another power-up punch for the win. Meowsick defeated, and look out for Absol because I am going to destroy it with just one punch. And it's coming out with a chest knot. Okay. It's okay, I might just defeat this guy with one Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead, a poison jab. There we go. Should be a physical attack, right? And yeah, chest knot. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, Kakashi Hitake growing levels, so does Flood Volt. And it's learning Power Gem, which is a very good move. And let's see, Power Gem. Okay, so it's a special attack. Let's just go ahead and switch out to. Let's go ahead and switch out Thunder Wave since we really don't need it right now. And our the light screen has worn off. No problem. I got myself my Goku right here. Physical attacker and all that crud. So let's go ahead. Power up punch. Oh yeah. Look at that. Say goodbye to Absol. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Level 42. And Goku is learning Aurora Sphere. This is a very, very, very good move. Actually, a powerful move. This Pokemon move right here 
The user that lets loose a blast of aura power from deep within its body at the target, this aura never misses, or this attack. So it's kind of like a Kamehameha. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to switch out Swords Dance for the time being because, you know, I don't, I don't usually use uh, stat moves and all that crud. So, look at that. Gaia 3 leveling up, and Serena has been defeated. I really enjoy battling with you, but I'm tired of losing every time. It's okay, baby. I am a winner again. Okay. And here comes another Power Ranger. Wow, that was a really intense battle! Oh, hi, Shauna. When did you start watching? So where's Tierney? He's at the Fighting Jojo. Really? At the Fighting Dojo? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm late, everyone. Oh, there he is. I was having so much fun at sparring and dance that I totally lost track of time. So, Tierno, have you found any good Pokemon for your dance team? Yep, I sure did. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. That's great. Good for you. Hey, everyone. Let's go to the scary house. The one by Laver City? That's, a, that's just a rumor, isn't it? Come on. Let's go and find out if the rumor is true together. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I'm sure it's just a rumor, and I want to spend more some time with my Pokemon before heading to Laver City. Okay. Uh, okay. B bye. So, is it really scary? Let's go see for ourselves here now. There's just there's always some reason rumors like that get started. Hmm. Okay. We're ready. Sigh. Okay. So, why are you traveling, Draven? Everyone is working really hard at the, what they want to do, but I'm just all about memories. I'm kind of just goofing around. Just kidding. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so that was it right there, and well, we're going to be traveling to the next area, and of course, it's going to be raining all the time right here. Now, there are some items that you can actually find right here. First and foremost, let's go right here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, we're sliding. Remember the good old times when slides used to be a thing? Now kids are just like into Game Boys and, well, not Game Boys, but iPads and all that crud. So, let's move on right here and grab this item. And we found ourselves a rare candy. And, well, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's go straight right here to Bonesaw because we still need to evolve this guy. And, well, let's go to Route 14 right here. Now, this is a scary location right here. Look at the trees in the dark, dark woods. There's a dark, dark something. Now, that was a scary, like, for me, okay. So back when I was in kindergarten, there was a book called The Dark Dark Woods. And I remember the teacher having a a recording, a recording of, you know, of the of the of the of the story. And it scared the crap out of me at the very end because it was a ghost. Ghost on and stuff. If you guys know what I'm talking about, tell me if you guys remember that shit because Good God, it scared the crap out of me. Now, here we have a Quagsire, and, well, we're not going to capture this guy. Now, we are going to be capturing Pokemon off screen. Not right now. We're just trying to get through this whole area. Right here, you'll actually find yourself, uh, what was it called? Uh, well, you'll, you'll, you'll find yourself some, some, po some Pokemon right here and stuff. So, let's see. Right here, we're going to use a Super Repel. And let us move on. We're not trying to battle any Pokemon right now. It's, again, all the Pokemon that we're gonna get, yes, we're gonna we're gonna capture them off screen. Now, here we found a cleanse tag. Usually, very very good to uh, for I like for I, I guess that's for repel or something. Advanced tips: A Pokemon with an, uh, with a scrappy ability can hit ghost types with fighting and normal type moves. You don't say. Hmm. You don't say. Okay, so we're trying to move out of the way right here. And, well, let us move on with something else right here. Oh, there's a Pokemon trainer waiting for us. So let's go ahead and battle her. Look what I found. It's a trainer. Okay, alrighty. Anywho, here we are, Pokemon Ranger. Her name is Molina, and she will be coming out with an Arbok, which is great. Anywho, guys. Now, while I'm battling everybody right here, I'm just going to let you guys know about a little something going on right now, and that is that I am currently playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and I have uploaded, or 
not uploaded, but I have recorded a buttload of episodes since it is one of, like, it's, it's a very easy Pokemon game to get through. So that will be a daily thing now, until we're, we're done. And, let's see, what else? I don't think they have any other walkthroughs that I have planned right now, except for Pokemon Snap, which will come out. Which will come out uh, sometime pretty soon, or has already come out, I don't know. Depending on when this recording is done. And look at that, Bonesaw, level 38. Yeah, buddy. He's going to come out with a Pyroar, so it's not going to be easy for it since it's in a rainy area and all that stuff. But like I was saying, guys, um, yeah, I don't know when Pokemon Snap will come out. It might come out after this episode, or it may have come out before this episode. But I'm just letting you guys know that those are the walkthroughs that I'm currently doing now in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. A lot of the stuff that I need to finish is usually extra stuff. Legendary Pokemon stuff, Wormhole, you know. Yeah, just extra stuff that you need to, you need to actually uh, complete. Now, it's about damn time. Bonesaw is evolving. So, yeah. It's been a while, guys. We've been trying to work at this. And, well... We finally got it. We finally did it. And Bonesaw is finally evolved into its second stage, which is, of course, this guy right here. Fracture. And look at his tusks. It's just majestic, big, and everything. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Fracture. And, well, we're going to take that summary. As you can see, its attack is through the roof. Not much of a special attacker, it does have a little bit of speed, its ability, it, has, it is rivalry, deals more damage to the Pokemon of the same gender. So, it's the jealous type, if that's what you're trying to get. But like I was saying guys, um, in Omega Ruby Alpha Zapphire, there, all the, uh, the final stuff that I need to do is just, you know, after, after game stuff, such as, I don't know, uh, capturing legendary Pokemon, um, I think that's pretty much it. Getting extra Pokemon, such as the the other starter Pokemon that I have yet to get. And then one final go around against the Elite Four. Now, I did say that I will be coming, uh, I will be battling the Elite Four with different Pokemon teams, such as, you know, my original team and all that crud. That will still happen. Just don't know when. And, uh, well, I think I will be finishing that walkthrough by the second go around of the Pokemon, uh, by the second go-round of the Pokemon League, which is good because that will be another walkthrough done here in 2020, which of course you guys already know, 2020 just sucks. My current predicament right now, since you guys already know, I am a personal trainer, and of course the governor has made it illegal for all gyms, indoor gyms to be closed and all, or to be open and all that crud. So I'm kind of, kind of in that predicament. I do live in California as well, so that also means that we're on fire, like the forests are burning, and uh, it's kind of annoying, it really is, and why are you body slamming? Oh yes, I cannot get paralyzed. Look at that, but you can. <laughs> okay, alrighty, and there's hydration, which will heal it, so let's go right ahead and use a thunder punch. So yeah, like I was saying guys, pandemic, fires, can't work, all that crap, but guess what? Everything's good, guys. Always have a backup plan and always have the backup backup plan. So, as of right now, everything is going well. I have been uh, I have been doing a little bit more recordings for Pokemon walkthroughs. I would I I would admit that you know at the beginning of this whole pandemic, I was getting a little burned out by making a buttload of uh, of walkthrough videos, mainly because you know there was nothing much to, that I could do. But I'm rejuvenated, and the whole Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu thing is just a dang good sign of uh, things to come, like Pokemon Sword and Shield, and the new Pokemon Snap walkthrough, which, well, whenever it comes out, it will be on here. It literally will, so lots of good stuff, guys. Lots of good stuff to look up to and all that crud, and uh, well, hopefully every single one of you guys are out there safe, and uh, nothing bad has happened to you or your family. Glad to make your day by just, you know, uploading a walkthrough video here and there. And, well, look at that. <sighs> She's coming out with ghost-type Pokemon, so I'm coming out with Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. 
Let's get it. Let's go. Let's do this. Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Going up against a Haunter right here, and it's using its Trace, Levitate. So, yeah, try a ground type move on me. It won't work. So, let's go with this Psychic Attack and crap. Oh, jeez. Okay, so here we go. Psychic Attack. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. And, well, that is that. And, well, that's more money for us. So, let's move on right here. Now, we are going to be seeing a lot of trainers right here. There are a lot of... I, I think there is an area right here where you need the cut technique, which I will get to afterwards. I think there's an item that you probably... Well, it's just a it, not-so-necessary item. It's just a good item and all that stuff. And, well, there is a trainer here. I am going to... Let's see. Switch out Fluffolt. And let's go with Kakashi Hitake. Because I believe this is its environment right here. And let's get to this part right here. We need to get this item. And this whole marsh thing is just annoying me. So here we found a hyper potion. Not so bad. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. Become one with nature to understand how Pokemon truly feel. Really, do I? Sh should I? Okay, Pokemon Ranger Reed coming out with his Poliwhirl. And look at his Poliwhirl. Looking badass. Now, there has been something else that, you know, has been, uh, that has caught my attention. And that is that I believe in my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough, the last episode, somebody had made the comment that I technically didn't finish the complete, or I didn't complete the whole game. Didn't finish the Pokedex, and I didn't defeat Professor Oak. I completely forgot the name of the individual who did that, who said that. But if you're watching Pokemon, my Pokemon X walkthrough, I'm just going to let you know right now. Challenge accepted. So there might be one more episode of Pokemon uh, Yellow in the future. And hopefully, hopefully very, very soon because, good God, I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. So let's go, Gaia 3. Time to do it. Going up against another Fracture right here. Let's get it. Let's go. Alrighty, Fairy-type Pokemon versus this Fracture right here. Now, this is an underleveled Fracture. And... Well, let's see. What are we doing? I don't have a Fairy-type move, but we got this. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Psychic Attack does the trick. There we go. Look at that. And she, she or he's going to be coming out with an Alondrid. So let's go to our favorite Pokemon, Goku, right here to destroy everybody. Alrighty. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Alrighty. And, of course, I'm getting a lot of messages right now. Why? I don't know. So let's try out this new move, Aurora Sphere. Kamehame. Ah, look at that. Super effective, super good. Eat it. And, of course, my Pokemon leveling up. And, and look at that. Guy at 3, level 44. I think I built a pretty good team right here. I'm pretty, pretty impressed right now. Very impressed. Okay, so let's move up right here. And there is a trainer right there that I don't want to mess with right now. And I believe this is the area where you will be finding... Uh, well, you need the cut technique. But you will be finding a bear right here. So let's grab this. We got ourselves a Roselli Berry. And let's talk to this person. Do you like fairy tales or reality more? I don't even know. I don't even know. I think I like uh, being on my own or something. I don't know. So let's go. She's coming out with a fluid. I think that's what it's called, a fluid. Yeah, fluid. Okay, so let's do this. I think it's a grass type Pokemon too, but I know it's a fairy type. And it takes most of that stuff. And here comes a wish. And that eventually will heal a Pokemon, whoever uses it, or it will use the next Pokemon or something. So, there we go. Get it. Alrighty, and look at that. Kikashi grows to level 45. Alrighty. And Godzilla, level 47. And it's learning Flamethrower, so finally a powerful move. Let's go ahead and switch it out. Get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay, and then she's going to be coming out with a Slurpuff, so... Do I have a Poison-type Pokemon here? I don't know. I really don't know. And you know what? Let's go with Godzilla. 
It ain't exactly a, uh, a, a dragon type Pokemon, but it's still something. Let's go ahead and flex our muscles just a little bit. To Lixie. Let's go with the Bulldoze. Of course, fire type attacks won't work right now in this environment since it's raining, and yeah, this guy is not taking it easy. Look at that. Okay, so. Okay, we're gonna have to just use a fire type attack right now. Let's go. And nearly defeat Slurpuff. And this guy right here. What the hell did he do? It's healing up. Oh crap, that wish is coming. I don't know if that wish ever tried to happen or something. I don't even know. There we go. Flamethrower for the win. Look at that. Flamethrower does it. Goku grows to level 43 and everybody else is doing okay, which is great. Alrighty. Outstanding. Now, we still have to look for that haunted house, so let's go right ahead and find that haunted house. Now, what does this lady want? Let's see. When I look at the swamp, I can't help but to think of poison. I'm sorry. That really wasn't a very interesting thing, thing, thing to say. Here, take this as an apology. And we get ourselves a TM06 Toxic. Alrighty. The move Toxic, which poison type Pokemon use, always hits, and the poison po damage from da uh, Toxic gets worse over time. Which is a, yeah, it's a very good move. Thanks to Koga and all that stuff. And, well, let's move on right here. We can surf and grab this item right here. Have I ever mentioned to you guys how much I hate the, uh... I hate the Great Marsh? I do. Yeah. Yeah, I hate the Great Marsh. Alright, so... That's pretty much it right there, and I think there is one more thing we have to check out. Come on, this way! And here's the haunted house. Well, so this is the house. It is a scary house, isn't it? Well, I guess we should go inside. Yeah, before I do... Oh, wow. What? You're going inside? Are you serious? Serena is off spending time with her Pokemon, so I guess I'll just have to go inside without her and see if the rumor is true by ourselves. I guess so. Let's go inside by ourselves, then. Hmm. Well, look at that. Let's get started then. It was a dark and stormy night many years ago. Lost! I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn on, so I fearfully looked around the house. Eventually! I made my way into the kitchen. There was no sign of anyone being there. I found a little fridge. And then when I opened it, a faint light leaked out. I could finally make out my surroundings. And I saw the faint outline of a man huddling in the corner of the room. I tried to tell him that I was lost and I was hoping he'd let me stay inside until the morning. But when I approached him, the man suddenly screamed back, screamed, STAY BACK! I apologized and continued to plead my case. Please! Can't you help me? I'm not talking to you, he shouted. I looked at the man in surprise and when the when I did this, the man asked me, Can't you see them? Behind you! A horde of faceless men. Damn. Now then, since I told a wonderful story that will always haunt you, would you be so kind to tip me? If you don't, you might see something really scary. You're charging us? Even haunted houses aren't free, you know. Sure, let's go ahead and tip this guy. I don't want to see something scary. Yeah, here we go. Tip him a thousand. Sheesh, let's get out of here. Hmm, it's really over? I wasn't really listening. Was that story just... You told just really to, uh, true or something like that? I don't even know. Okay. So that was not that scary. Alright. I guess it was really... I guess it really was a scary house in that anyway. Well, I know you wanted to go camping, and that was kind of like camping, I guess. People usually tell stories, or scary stories, by a campfire, right? I've had enough of dark places and scary things. I'd rather rehearse, uh, rehearse my dances. I'll see you all later. Mm, okay. What should I do next? I guess I, I, I'll go to Laverse City. 
See you later, Sensei. Please compare Pokédexes with me uh, again soon. Sure. Why not? I'm a, I'm a nice guy, right? Well, let's see what the girlfriend has to say. What did I do next? Go to Lover City. Yeah, well, that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so now there is one more thing you can do right here, guys. Go slowly. Trust me, guys. You're going to like this. Not really. Uh, there is an item right here that you can actually get. And god dang, I hate, this. I hate the swamps. I really do. So here we go. We found ourselves a spell tag. Which is great. And, well, going off the edge right here. You know. Anywho, uh, yeah, any scary stories. Like, uh, when I was a freshman in high school, I worked in a haunted house. Turns out it was really, really haunted. And there was quite a few things going on in there that, yeah, it was kind of scary. Very scary and, and stuff. And, no, I don't want to use another repel. Now, let's see. I think that's pretty much it for that or the scary stories. You know, dark, dark woods and... And that, yeah. So if you guys have any scary stories of yourselves, comment down below. I would like to hear that stuff. But now, here we are in the next place. Lover City. Very nice city. And we got a lot to cover into this area right here. Of course, you can actually buy something right here. And before we go anywhere, you can actually go behind these uh, these these uh, houses. And you can actually grab this. The ether. Which will prove useful. And... Well... That is pretty much it for this episode. We did cover a lot, did do a lot, and well, yep, that is pretty much it. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, I yeah, there will be a lot more to cover. You know, Pokeball Factory and the Laversity Gym. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.